What is going on YouTube? It's Kelly here and this video is sponsored by Cricut. Cricut is a smart cutting machine that is paired with an easy to use app to personalize and customize anything you want. Check this out. It's all set up. I'm gonna show you guys all about this machine in a minute, but right now I have some deer meat defrosting in the sink. We got some dough backstrap that I shot a couple weeks ago up in Georgia. I have some jalapenos. I actually have to run to the store and get some cream cheese and bacon because we're gonna make some good old jalapeno poppers with deer meat. But you guys come over here to my office. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how to use this quick cutting machine by Cricut. Now, first things first, you get on your laptop or your computer, or there's actually an app on your smartphone that you can use as well. Open up that launch pad. We're gonna go to the Cricut Design Space. We have an account. So I'm gonna go up here to new project. Now I'm going to customize my free diving fins with my Instagram handle. So you click that, it brings you to your Cricut design space. Now you're going to hit the text. And my Instagram handle is at island key underscore. But for some reason I can't put the little underscore, so I'm just gonna make one. No big deal. We're gonna select it and we're just gonna move it up here. Now you see a little box right here? That tells you how big it is um, compared to the screen. So I wanna make it relatively pretty decent big because I wanna be able to see it in the video when I do dive with my fins. Now I am using vinyl white paper, so the color does, doesn't necessarily matter because it's going to get cut out anyway. However, I am going to copy and paste a few more while I'm at it, just to have some extras. Okay, and now we're gonna make it. So you have two options here if you have the smart vinyl you don't need a mat and that is what i have so i'm going to select without mat and confirm all right so here's just kind of like a little representation of what it's going to look like when you put the paper into the cricut machine all right so um before starting this video i went ahead and bluetooth my machine to my laptop and that way it's all connected and ready to go yes i do have smart vinyl permanent paper Yep, and now we're gonna go load it. And walk right back to over here. So these are my free diving fins, gonna set them there. We're gonna take our Smart Vinyl, which is what I have right here. I just have the white one, this is a gold one. The Smart Vinyl you do not need a mat for. So I'm just gonna feed this right into the machine, just like that, and hit this flashing button here and the machine is going to automatically take that paper in. There we go. And if you go back to your computer, it's gonna give you step-by-step -step instructions. So right now, the paper is fed into the machine and we're going to press go. So we walk back over to the machine here and we press this little play button. this out. This machine is going to work cutting my name into this vinyl. It's a little hard to see because it is on the white paper, but I'll show you guys an example on this gold piece that I did right here, which you can see the cutout of Island Key, which is just a logo that I did. Finley, what is going on? What is that thing, huh? Um, I did it right here on my spear gun, as you guys can see. And I customized it with Island Key, which is super, super sick. I love the gold on the wood. Yeah, 
and it just finished. So we're gonna select this little blinking button right here and it's going to feed us out the paper. Boom. All right, so this is gonna be extremely hard for you guys to see, but in the glare, you can see at, uh, excuse me. Oh my goodness, okay. You're getting excited. <laughs> I know this is so exciting, right? You can customize anything. Right here, you see the island key and that is going to look wonderful on these dark colored fins right here. Nice, white, and bold. All right, so I have three island keys on this paper here. You're gonna take your scissors and just cut it out. A lot of my girlfriends who are school teachers uh, or they have kids, they absolutely love their crickets because they get to customize pretty much anything. I always loved arts and crafts. Growing up, it was like my favorite thing to do. So this is just like a big kid, a big kid arts and crafts. All right, so this is what we're gonna do here. We do have some transfer tape, which is what I used when I did my spear gun, just because when I did the lettering, it was in cursive. So it made it a little more tedious to um, peel off of uh, the vinyl. So I used this tool right here, as you guys can see in the video, and just very gently, just kind of scooted the tool under the sticker and that way it stuck to the transfer tape and it made it so much easier to transfer onto the spear gun. Okay, and then for my little underscore, I just cut a tiny little piece right there because that's easy enough to do. There goes my underscore. Boom, check that out. So now, if someone's filming me from behind or underneath or whatever it may be, may be under a ledge or anything like that, you could see, boom. Island key underscore, that's my Instagram handle. How sick is that? That's really cool. I love it. Dude, I am customizing everything. <laughs> Although there's a few different type of Cricut machines out there, the machine that I have is the Cricut Explore 3. Now, when it comes to having a Cricut, it does not require any design experience. You just learn as you go. Although the Cricut machine does look a little bit intimidating, I promise you it's not. Once you learn it, it is super easy to use. Considering everything you can do with this Cricut machine, it is affordable. Cricut also offers you a Cricut design space, as you guys saw in the video, which is a free software that's super easy to learn. Not to mention all the products that are compatible with the Cricut machine are very high quality and designed to cut perfectly with the Cricut. And back to the jalapeno deer meat poppers. As you guys can see here, I have my back strap. I went ahead and sliced the jalapenos in half long ways and scooped out all of the seeds. I have cream cheese. We have a zucchini, but that doesn't go with poppers. We have some bacon. And what we're gonna do is stuff the cream cheese in the popper, cut the deer meat in slices, put the deer meat on top and wrap it in bacon. Finley, you smell the deer meat? Do you smell the deer meat? Do you smell the deer meat or the bacon? The grill is set to 250 and I'll probably leave them on there for about an hour and a half. Oh my gosh, the smoke in my eyes is real. Um, this isn't like a normal grill, it's a smoker, so they are going to take a little bit longer. 
normal grill obviously would cook a lot faster. Alright, there we go. Can't wait. In addition to the Cricut Explore 3, we have the Easy Press 3, which this allows you to iron on any of your designs on shirts, totes, bucket hats, baby onesies, um, any type of material that you would like. So you're going to go into your design space, you're going to select the heat guide, and then you're going to enter in what you're using. So I'm using Smart Iron-On Glitter, and the material I'm going to be ironing on is a cotton and polyester blend. So it's going to tell you what you need to know, which is 330 Fahrenheit for, I believe, 30 seconds. So we're going to go ahead and set that. 3.30, and then your time, oops, time, 30 seconds. Do, 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 do. And it's preheating right now, which I want to make sure I didn't change that. Okay, perfect. So we're going to preheat to 3.30 for 30 seconds. And then once this turns green, you're ready to roll. I went ahead and cut out each individual letter and place them exactly where I want them on the shirt. You guys will see me pick um, the excess material around the stencil that the Cricut Explorer cut out for you. You just peel that back and then you place it on. You can use your little tools to help you because this thing, this thing right here is like the most important tool I feel like. Because you can just like very daintily like get all the corners and everything. All right, it just beeps. You guys ready? All right. We also have a ironing pad under this shirt. So we're gonna go ahead. It's kind of big, so I'll probably do half and half. So we'll start at the K and press. Then like, there we go. Perfect. We're gonna lift that up, put it back on this and do our other side. So I did island and then the shark tooth. Finley. <laughs> and we're gonna go again on this side. Finley, what are you, what are you? Finley, no, 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 no. <laughs> he just took a vinyl roll. Finley, do you wanna participate? Is that what it is? Finley, come here. Come here. He wants me to chase him, that's what he wants. What do you got? He's such a nut. Six seconds left. Perfect. Put it back on the safe, this little safety heating tray. And we're gonna flip the shirt over. We flip the shirt over and do probably about 15 seconds or 30 on each side, uh, just to add a little bit of extra heat to the back side of the iron-on, and it sticks a lot better. Thank you. No, this isn't for you. I might just do half and half. Beautiful. Now we're just going to peel away our waist. Just let it cool down just for a little bit. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Finley is just looking for trouble right now. He's just so funny. You know how kids get like super spunky and like before they go to bed? That's literally what Finley does. Right when the sun goes down, he gets so, like, antsy. And I have been working all day, too, so he's been kind of hanging out at the house. So I'm actually going to give this shirt to my best friend's daughter. She's, like, a super fan of the channel and loves to watch videos. What? That is amazing. It went on so smooth. It's so flush to the material. Like, wow, it doesn't even stick either. That is incredible. Check that out. 
You guys, hold on. Let me get the flashlight on these. They are looking absolutely perfect. Finley, doesn't that smell so good? Get your little nose out of here. <laughs> Finley, you've been eating bacon and deer meat for too long. I'm not gonna lie, I have been spoiling Finley with bacon and deer meat all week. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut into one of these poppers. So I went ahead, took them off the grill, and I threw them in my oven and broiled the top for probably like four minutes or so, just to kind of crispy up the bacon a little bit more. So let's cut into these. I know the sun already went down, so my house gets pretty dark. Oh my gosh, how perfect is that? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't had these in so long. I'm not even using the fork. That looks incredible. Mm. That's so good. Um, you've already had bacon today, Finley. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. If you guys deer hunt, y'all already know. These are the bomb. You can also do this with dove too, which I just made a dove hunting video. Be sure to check that out too. Um, you can do the same thing with dove. The jalapeno, cream cheese, and bacon. Mm. So good. Finley really thinks he's getting some of this, and I'm sorry that you're not, because there's jalapeno cream cheese in it. Sorry. Um, anyways, I just got a text from my friend Jessie, and you guys might remember her. She had the three boys and the baby girl, Annabelle. Uh, her husband was the principal um, of the boys' school. Uh, so they moved to Idaho, I believe, uh, several months ago, and she just texted me these pictures of the fall leaves. How beautiful is that? And she said, it's fall, it's so beautiful here, and I miss you. Oh, I miss you so much, Jesse. If you guys are watching this, the kids, I miss you guys. And I do want to take a trip up there to visit and just to see the beautiful landscape. I mean, it's incredible there. They actually made a little bit of a YouTube channel and their family. Oh, what is it called? Let's see. It is... Hey, everybody, what's going on? My name is... Oh, Z6 Adventures. Here you go. So this is just some close friends of mine that have been in some previous videos. Um, adorable family. I love their kids. I love both of them so much. Uh, just really, really good people. And they just started vlogging their outdoor adventures in a different state because they don't live in Florida anymore. So um, they are experiencing all the seasons up there. So that's super exciting for them. And hopefully I can come up there and visit you guys. But right now this video is ending. Thanks for watching you guys. Be sure to check out any links in the description below this video. I'm gonna get to eat some of this deer meat because it is so good. And I will see you guys on the next one. See ya. Oh, just because you sit, you think you'll get one?